So we've been having problems with a fox locally that's uh, getting bolder and bolder, it seems. He's had his confidence built up and he's coming back more regularly. We're trying to scare him off, but inevitably he's going to be here and threaten the chickens and the geese. So at night time, the geese take sanctuary in the lake. That's their place of safety where obviously the fox can't get hold of them. But unfortunately, um, because of this weather, it's been freezing up at night. And a consequence of that freeze means that the poor geese can't get away from the fox. And the fox is bold enough to go out onto the lake when the ice will take his weight. Now the geese do have a place that they go to for some sanctuary, which is under the decking area there. But unfortunately, when it freezes properly, even that can be accessible by the foxes. What Anna would like to have is a little goose house. Nothing too elaborate, but something that's off the ground um, that we can secure at night, stuff with hay and make them safe, dry, and uh, more importantly, warmer during these quiet times. So. We're going to use some materials that we've got lying around and get cracking with that. We have got eight of these small fencing panels that haven't found a use yet. So I'm wondering if we can use those for the sides. So the first part of this project will be to build a timber frame for some decking to sit on that will lift it off the ground. So the first job now is to build that frame. we have is to use these fence panels as the sides and the front so it will be a box this square so if that's the case we need to make a frame which is just a little bit bigger than this that we can deck between and then bring bring these up so that they're flush with the frame afterwards it's probably best I just get on with it What I need to do now is just to put a small joist across the centre. It doesn't have to be too heavy because it's only geese and the occasional cleaning going on inside and then deck it out and then build the top.
So that's the base completed. Now before we put the sides on, I need to cut the opening for the door on the front. So unfortunately, we're going to have to call it quits today because I'm working outside and it's just started to rain. And it's not so much me getting wet, but it's the tools and electricity and, and so on. Geese are very inquisitive and they'll always come and search out something new in the environment. So uh, ironically, they're here to come and have a look, probably at what I'm doing, and their new home. Noisy beggars. is it's getting quite heavy and it's quite cumbersome and simply I think it's going to be too awkward for just Anna and I to move around especially with the roof on. We're just going to have some tip board panels on the top here so it's going to be quite uh, quite a load so I think we're going to have to look at um, seeing a way of getting it on the trailer now and either moving it around into location and finishing it off remotely or build it here and then disassemble it, uh, then take around the lighter structure without the roof uh, and then assemble it there. So, a cup of tea first. So I think that's going to be it for today. I need to put the roof on, the felt and the front and back and the drawbridge ramp. Um, so that's going to have to go into part two, I'm afraid. So keep tuned for the next stage. <laughs>